In this video, I want to share with you a tutorial of what I think is the best LinkedIn automation tool out there. If you're able to utilize the software correctly, there's no reason why you can't be generating 10, 20 and beyond sales calls every single week with a fully automated workflow. So let's actually just log in and see what this is all about. So once again, the software is called Dripify. And what it does at a high level is that it allows you to send out messages to your ideal prospects on LinkedIn, but in a fully automatic way so that you're not the one who needs to manually connect with every one of these prospects and then handwrite a message and send it to them because obviously that would take quite a long time. So here's an example, right? Of a message that you might be sending, you send out the initial connection message and then you try to start a conversation and hopefully you book a call from that. Now, with Dripify, all of this can be done entirely on autopilot. Not only that, it actually integrates with your sales navigator as well so that anytime you're saving a search inside sales nav, you can just drag in one of those saved lists and that's who you actually can be prospecting into. It provides you a really great UI UX for campaign management so that you can actually manage and reply to all of your conversations directly inside Dripify rather than doing it inside LinkedIn where sometimes the messages can get a little bit cluttered and lost. It also gives you really great metrics and that way you can understand how well your campaigns are performing, which obviously inside LinkedIn, if you were to do everything manually, you would have no idea what percentage of people accepted your connection requests or even replied to your messages. And finally, there's a lot of features inside this tool that will allow you to stay safe where you're not actually sending too many messages, which could ultimately get you flagged by LinkedIn as being a spammer. So in today's tutorial, I'll be going through everything that you'll need to know about how to actually use Dripify from building lists to setting up campaigns to managing the conversations and ultimately what things need to happen for you to actually schedule qualified calls in the calendar. And by the way, if you want to actually test out the software for free, you can sign up for a free trial just below. I have a link in my description box that you can sign up for an account. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell because obviously I share tutorials and breakdowns of how you can actually grow your business every single week with free content. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do before you even work on Dripify is you're gonna actually have to set up some lead lists inside Sales Navigator because you're not gonna be able to use Dripify unless you first have a list of prospects to actually go after. Now, with Sales Navigator, I actually have other videos in my channel and you can check them out right here that dive deeper into actually how you can find your prospects using all the filters, the search parameters, but more or less a list might look something like this where you have a bunch of results based on the parameters that you set up. Ideally, you're gonna wanna actually have a list smaller than 3000 just because Dripify doesn't really allow you to have lists that are overly large. You'll end up just losing whatever leads are beyond the initial 3000 or even 2000 500. So that would be my suggestion to you. If that's the case, just keep on trimming the list down by adding more and more filters until it's below 3000 or even preferably below 2500 to be extra safe. Now, by the way, Sales Navigator is a paid tool. If you don't want to use a paid tool, you can just use normal LinkedIn, but obviously normal LinkedIn doesn't have the same amount of search criteria. So you end up having more mediocre lists. And there's also limitations on LinkedIn in terms of how many people you can build into a single list. So I do recommend that you just get Sales Navigator instead of using normal LinkedIn. Now let's say you actually have your list. What do you do? So the next section is you're gonna to wanna to go and set up your campaign. So I'll actually just share with you a basic idea of what a campaign might look like. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is set up your list. So normally what I would do is I would name the list after whatever are the parameters of the search criteria. I would name the list inside Sales Navigator and Dripify the same. And then you would just copy and paste over the URL. So you would do that. And obviously there's other ways that you can do this. You could upload a CSV file, you could paste a bunch of URLs, but it's just easier to use LinkedIn search. It's the most streamlined way. Make sure that you click max so that you're allowing every single one of the possible leads to actually enter this campaign. And then once this is uploaded, it'll start dragging in those particular leads into the campaign. Now, you're not necessarily done yet because now you gotta actually create what the campaign looks like. My recommendation is create a custom campaign. It's gonna give you the most flexibility. It'll open up all the options. And here, you're actually going to be able to decide, okay, how do I wanna actually engage with this prospect? Now, assuming you're actually going after brand new people who you are not connected with, you're gonna to wanna to start with sending an invite because obviously these people 
you don't actually have any way to message them yet until they've actually accepted your connection request. So that's going to be usually the first step. Now, if you're going after people who you've already connected with, then obviously you can skip this. You can just go straight to sending them additional messages or engaging with their profile in other ways, such as liking their content or endorsing one of their skills. But I'm going to assume that the majority of people here are looking to actually add brand new followers, brand new connections so that you can start prospecting them. And by the way, if you actually want to give this tool a free test drive, you can sign up for a free trial just with my link below in the description box. So definitely check it out. You're also able to attach a connection message if you'd like, and you are even allowed to have some personalized notes. So you could say something like, Hey, first name would love to connect. I mean, this is very, very generic. I would probably recommend you try to make things a bit more personalized. Maybe you shout out the industry that they're in or the geography or something uh, that will allow them to feel as though you did a little bit of research. I would recommend that you don't just ask questions here or ask them to jump on a call with you or really make any sort of asks at all because that's going to lower your connection request. Just get them to accept because once you get them to accept, then you're going to actually be able to start messaging them. If they don't even accept your connection request, you're not going to even be able to send them any more messages, which is really not great. So keep this very light, very chill, no ask, and that way you can optimize your uh, acceptance rate. The cool thing about Dripify is that you can now have some branching logic. If the person doesn't actually accept your connection request, you can start doing things to try to get them to accept, right? You can view their profile. You could um, like one of their posts. And then you can ultimately send them an in-mail request if they haven't actually accepted your connection request. Obviously, you're also allowed to decide how many days between each step you want to wait for. Now, at the end of this, you want to close off the sequence by just clicking end. And this will essentially be your method of dealing with anyone who has not yet accepted your connection request and you're trying to just get them to either accept or ultimately just respond to an in-mail instead. And for those who don't know what an in-mail is, essentially it's just a message that you're sending to someone who is not connected with you. It does look a little bit more marketing-y, but if you're not able to send them a private message because you're not connected, it's better to send them an in-mail than nothing. Now, let's say they do accept. What happens then? Now you can actually go and just send them private messages, as many as you'd like. My recommendation is you try to stay below three, just because frankly, you don't want to be sending them so many messages that they feel as though they're being spammed. It's not a great idea. And then I would recommend that you also space this out so that you don't just blast them every single day. Maybe wait two days between the first and the second message, maybe wait three days between the final set of messages. And actually, I would just send out a message as soon as they accepted your connection request. So within the first hour, the first message can go out. Now, what would you actually make these messages look like? I'll give you a very, very high level overview of what I tend to do. So my preferred method is actually not just pitching them and trying to get them into a call right away, because I find that most people are going to be very resistant to that. They're going to be skeptical. You don't really have any relationship with them. So there's no reason why they would just accept jumping on a sales call with a stranger. My preferred method is to actually provide value. So I'll tell people, Hey, I have this free content. It'll help you achieve X and Y, Z goal. If you want to just reply back and I'll send it over. And then in this situation, you can actually see Allison, she actually wants the content. So I'll just send it over to her and then I'll tell her exactly what is in it. But from here, now I actually have an excuse to start uh, talking to her and asking her questions about, Hey, what are your goals? What are your pain points? Why do you actually want this piece of content about lead generation? And once she starts telling me, yeah, so truthfully, uh, I'm actually having a really difficult time um, with growth. I want something a bit more systematic. Then I actually have my foot in the door and I can start asking her, Hey, let's jump on a sales call. I can fix some of these issues. So you can see here adding free value, being a bit more conversational in nature instead of just trying to ask for a sales call right away. That's really my approach. And that's really why I think my clients and I get such great results because most people are really just trying to spam. And I'll even share with you an example, right? Where literally in the connection message, they're already trying to pitch me. I'm definitely not going to accept that. I'm going to ignore that. They're not trying to start any conversation. They're providing zero value. It's like, why would anyone ever accept this? So then you would close off the sequence and then you would click next. I'm not going to actually do this because I don't want to create this campaign. This was just an example for me, but it's important that you're happy with this campaign because once you launch it, you can't actually go back and edit the structure of the campaign. You can edit just the copy, 
but adding additional like logic and steps you cannot do. So that's just something that you're going to want to realize. So let me actually now show you what a real campaign looks like once it's been set up. So in the settings section, you're going to want to do a couple things. First off, you're going to want to set up your working hours and calendars so that you define when the messages are being sent out. I just kind of do it in the working times in which I live, which is like East Coast. And then you're going to also want to set up your limits and activity controls. Generally speaking, you're not going to want to send out too many messages every single day because if you do, it's going to get a bit dangerous. My account has been around for like years and years and I have over 10,000 followers. So it's easy for me to set it up at the higher point in the range. But if you're running a relatively new LinkedIn profile and you actually haven't built much of a network yet, you're going to want to keep this on the lower end of the range, maybe 20 or 30. Most people will be safe there. But like I said, I'm going to crank it up just because I know that my account is safe and I know that the contents of my messages are very non spammy and they're very value driven. So I'm going to be able to get away with having a higher volume because I know my replies will be very solid. Now, if you want a higher volume than just this, you're going to want to just have more LinkedIn accounts because even with a great LinkedIn profile, you're not going to be able to send out any more than the maximum number at this range here, which is 75. So you can just have more LinkedIn profiles, attach them all, in which case now you can actually manage multiple profiles out of a single Dripify instance. So that is pretty much a high level overview of how you can use Dripify. Once again, if you want to try out this tool for free, then just use the free trial link down below in my description box and it'll be really, really valuable for you to be able to test out. Okay. And by the way, my business attract and scale, we have helped over 130 plus companies around the world with LinkedIn strategy, with lead generation strategy, with building out really, really effective campaigns so that you can ultimately automate and systemize your growth. So if that's something that you're actually curious about, then just book a call with me below and we can have a really quick consultation where I'll just tell you whether or not we can help you out. Okay. So, so if you're looking to just learn more, check out some of these other videos as well, and I will see you on my next video. All right. Cheers.